Prakash. I'm Dr. Prakash Madan Limbu, uh, WFSA, uh, International Fellow, uh, doing a fellowship in regional anesthesia in Ganga Hospital uh, for the period of six months. Um, coming into Ganga was a dream come true. Uh, I got to see a lot of things, uh, new advances in regional anesthesia that I never expected. And uh, some of the things uh, that I would like to share is that on arrival blocks are uh, probably a game changing thing and Anastasia uh, has probably made a very big impact, impact on me uh, and probably I would definitely uh, lobby uh, for such uh, an intervention uh, for the practice of Anastasia. The other thing is that pre-operative block and post-operative block is also um, practiced commonly practiced here and that I would definitely like to follow this trend when I go back to my institution uh, PP Kerala Institute of Health Sciences back in Nepal so um, definitely it makes a huge impact uh, in the in the pre-operative pre period intraoperative period and the post-op block in the uh, post-op period as well so what we used to practice is like we used to, um, uh, especially when the patient was in original anesthesia and spinal, uh, we never used to think of uh, the post-operative blocks. But after coming to Ganga, I really realized its importance and the impact that is that it has on the patient well-being. So you know, that is something that I would like to share with you. The other thing is that. The aspect of multimodal and analgesia, even in a patient having regional anesthesia, uh, was a very uh, eye-opening thing for me. So we used to practice multimodal analgesia only in patients having general anesthesia, but after coming to Ganga, I realized that uh, it really makes a very big difference uh, in the patient in the perioperative period as well. The other thing, uh, important thing that I realized that the anesthetic plan, the anesthetic management is very individualized in Ganga Hospital uh, from the NPO status uh, till uh, the breaking of the NPO status. Here the, uh, the patients are really like allowed um, to eat and drink early on and that is uh, uh, very important and, uh, and a game changing thing that I've seen and maybe that is something that I'd like to introduce in my institution as well. Excellent, uh, uh, Prakash Limbu. Um, this is Dr. Bala, the program head of the WFSA Regional Anesthesia Fellowship uh, in Ganga Medical Center and Hospital, Coimbatore, India. Uh, we thank uh, WFSA for giving us the opportunity to meet and work together. So do you think uh, whatever you have learned, uh, you will implement back in Nepal in your country and you will train a lot of young anesthesiologist uh, in regional anesthesia? Yes, sir. Um, actually, I'd like uh, to thank uh, Bala, sir. Um, I'd, I'd like to thank Bala, sir, for giving me this opportunity, once in a lifetime uh, opportunity. And definitely, whatever things I've learned, I'd like to implement. Um, I, I believe, I'm confident that I'll be able to implement more than 80% of what I've learned and probably teach my residents almost like uh, 30 residents in Anastasia definitely and even share uh, with my colleagues and my senior faculties as well in my institution. Excellent. Thank you so much uh, Dr. Prakash Limbu and I'm sure that uh, I will convey all that you said to the World Federation of Society of Anesthesiologists and thank them for the opportunity given to our center and to you to do this program. Thank you.